All right, I think we're on. So, uh, yeah, basically, we're here with Ideen, one of our high-performance tennis players that last Sunday, I think it was, you were playing and you stood on the last ball, and when, when you went wide, you rolled your ankle a bit. So he had a, uh, uh, basically a lateral ankle sprain with his ankle going out, which is obviously more common than the ankle falling in. And within that, he sprained uh, his CF and his ATF, his lateral ligaments. So since then, he's been doing some ice, uh, his TheraBend exercises, basically all the physiotherapy he should be doing in order to decrease the inflammation and make the ankle stronger. So one of the things we want to apply today is uh, one of these bands. Uh, they're from the States. It's called a floss band. I think the name's a bit irrelevant. It's more of the importance of the elasticity of the band. Um, like I said, you can get these only really in the States right now, so one of the things that you can do is you can take a bike tire inner tube, which this actually kind of looks like, and you slice it down the middle, or for you college grads, you fillet it down the middle. And what that will do is it allows it to basically open up just like this. And again, you can see the elasticity in this, hopefully it's a bit tight. It's not like a TheraBand, it's actually much more. It's just like a bike tire too, which is why you can also use this. So what we're going to do here is we're going to tell Ideen to just basically hold his ankle up just as if I was taping it. I'm going to start by wrapping his ankle and as you see the pressure I'm going to put on it is actually quite a bit. We're only going to keep this on for a couple of minutes so my goal is actually to cut off a decent amount of the circulation, which sounds pretty bad actually. So, as I wrap this, it's been a while since I've been wrapping ankles. I work more as a strength coach now, not a physio. But, let's see if I can remember how to do it. Right, there we are. And you want to try to close off all the skin while you do this. So you don't want any open areas like that. So you're going to see that I will cover this right now. Oh, my wrapping technique is a bit rusty. I apologize. Right, so, now after we've wrapped it pretty tight, uh, it usually it ends in a pretty annoying area. So we're just going to try to find a way, a spot to lift this up and wrap it underneath. And now what we're going to do, we've got about two minutes, we're going to keep this on. Because by then you're going to start to see his foot turning a funny color. That is normal and that's okay, but we don't want this for an excessive amount of time. So right now, Ideen, what I'm going to have you do is I'm going to have you... Pull your toes up, you're going to dorsiflex yourself, and then you're going to push your toes down in plantar flexion. So we're just going to take them through the full range of motion, so go ahead and start that. And as you can hear, some of the popping already, this is going to be some of the older scar tissue that we're just trying to break up. So as he's going through these motions, at the very extreme ranges here and there, I'm giving a bit of a push, as you can see. Now we want to be careful when we come up, because you've got a uh, ligament up here called the, uh, actually I'm going blank, so we don't want to push too much or you end up performing basically like a Gleiger test. We can perform like almost a syndesmotic sprain. So I'm just giving a bit of pressure right there and pulling down. So we're just going to continue to go through this for a couple minutes. And then I'm going to have you just go ahead and relax, and I'm going to start taking your ankle passively through just a bunch of the different ranges of motion. I'm going to perform a couple anterior drawers on here, just really pulling the posterior ankle interiorly here, trying to kind of just break up some of that scar tissue. Now his ligaments are a bit better, but still I'm going to be a bit careful when I take him through some of the tests that would actually cause a bit of pain in his ankle, but I want to really push the extreme motions here, the extreme range of motion if you will, and really just get everything to open up. How's your ankle feeling? Okay. Yeah, you feel like your toes are kind of falling asleep exactly. here. Exactly. Huh? Alright, so that's the way it should be. It should be quite tight. So we've probably got about 30 seconds more here. Now just go ahead and keep relaxing. You go ahead and lean back, I think. There you go. And it's going to really work on going deep into that dorsiflexion. And again, we want to take care because the uh, syndesmotic joint right here, what holds the tib and the tibula and the fibula together, we don't want to replicate a high ankle sprain, but I do want to really push into the full range of motion. 
All right, and now, go ahead and keep staying down. Go ahead and stay down. I'm just going to do the same and really force that plantar flexion here. And then the last 15 seconds here, I'm just going to kind of get a bit of rotation. So, ideally, try to hold your knee a bit straight. And I'm just going to really focus on twisting that ankle. Now, again, it's important to remember that the ice, the physical therapy exercises, the TheraBend, whatever you're doing, is all still very important. Uh, this floss band is actually just an important component of all the exercises. So, Ideen's going to continue with his external rotation, his internal rotation, all his exercises he's doing. He's going to continue with his ice, his proprioceptive exercises. This is just one thing that we uh, were able to get when I went back to the States. So this is what we want to start implementing because it's a great way to, to take care of some of the new swelling and prevent any chronic swelling from, uh, from occurring. Alright, so now we're going to go ahead and take it off. And you can just, well, hopefully a bit more successful than I am. There we are. Uh, it's because of the figure eights. Let's see here. Alright, cool. So, uh, I can go ahead and move your ankle around there. And, uh, yeah, what, do you feel any different? Does it feel... It feels uh, a lot different. It feels yeah. like my ankle is free now. Like okay. So, basically, obviously, some of that's coming from the blood flow coming back into the ankle. But, uh, through the motion and through, basically, momentarily cutting off the circulation, if you will, this allows, when I take the band off, for more of a, how do you say a flow of the blood to really come back at a, a higher intensity, which in theory will now help push some of the old edema and scar tissue and swelling out, which is why you can see some of the actually uh, band marks on his ankle because there was some initial swelling which is now pushed away a bit, but that's why it feels like his ankle is a bit lighter and your motion is a bit greater because it actually is. Some of that swelling has been pushed away. So like I said, I can't stress the importance enough of this only being a component uh, this doesn't replace ice, this doesn't replace exercises, and this definitely does not replace the proprioception work that we're going to do to prevent further injury. But this is a great element in w it, to take care of swelling, to help with the initial swelling and to help uh, speed the process of recovery. So, hope that video was good. Uh, if you guys have any questions, let me know. Unfortunately, this is my first one. So, uh, yeah, like it, use it, and uh, I hope it helps. Alright, thanks. Until next time.